Hey guys, it's me, Panso6, and this is a new episode of the Game Feed, and I'm going to do something a little bit different that I haven't really done before. Um, it's not going to really be about specific games, but it's going to be about my favorite gaming personalities on YouTube or whatever. And I'm going to try to do two per episode, so today it's going to be about Boogie2988 and Jim Sterling, and next week probably Total Biscuit and... Uh, whoever. <laughs> so, um, I started you know, I started YouTube and Twitch about almost two years ago. Uh, YouTube, not so much. Um, I, I used to, um, it, you know, forward my, uh, or transfer, I'm sorry, my um, Twitch broadcast straight to YouTube. I uh, didn't really fiddle with um, <clears throat> editing or nothing, just straight on put there. But I, I had a whole lot of fun. Uh, streaming. It was, it was a lot of fun. I haven't done it in a while. And um, the reason why I started was for, for because people like Boogie2988, uh, Total Biscuit, and others. And I seen that they could be successful um, despite the odds. Now, <laughs> I've been following Boogie for <sighs> several years now. A long time. Uh, I try to, I try to tweet the guy or try to talk to him I never get to talk to him um, he's got a you know almost two million subscribers and I kind of based some of my ideas for the channel from him he is actually a really big inspiration for the channel and um, the whole thing I like I, I've always loved video games uh, since you know as far as I can remember um, I play video games since I you know Maybe it, when I was like three years old, uh, with the NES, I played Atari. Any time I can get my hands on some type of video game, I, I will do. It. Even those Rinky Dink Tiger Electronic uh, games you used to buy at the, like Walmart or something like that. But it's just like had like a couple frames and uh, it was ridiculous. But I used to play like any chance I got, got I would play video games. And I'm still like that today. Um, I took like a four month break because. You know, with the move and everything, we just haven't had time to do that. And I'm trying to play catch up on my back backlog. Um, but you know, I used to read like things like Game Informer, um, watch uh, X Play with um, Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb, as well as Attack of the Show. I would watch the E3, um, all the E3 uh, stuff and. CES, uh, Tokyo Game Show, Gamescom Germany. Every time I come on, I'll watch it, I'll stream it, I'll do whatever I can just to stay fed. I, you know, I, I'm on Reddit all the time, um, looking through Xbox One, PC Master Race, PS4 games and gaming. I'm always on those subreddits, just checking them out. Or NeoGaf, just you know, soaking in all the newest stuff. I always, I, I consider myself really well informed when it comes to video games and I usually, I'm usually able to tell people, uh, give my opinion on it and some pe people seem that, you know, that know me can kind of feel, you know, like they're getting reliable information and that's what's, that's kind of why I want to talk about Boogie2988 and Jim Sterling. Now, <laughs> if you take a look at Boogie's stuff way, way back when, whenever, um, you know, he just got his apartment, and he had the bed uh, with the magic, the gathering stuff in the background, and he used to do some crazy stuff. Uh, um, that guy went from doing crazy stuff to where he is now. Now, I was watching him last night on Twitch, and I, I felt really terrible about it for him because it seems like... Anytime good something good happens, something bad happens for him. Like it may not even affect him, but he gets dragged into like some crazy shit that uh, he really doesn't need to be in. And also like all the haters, like yeah, he's a big guy. I'm a big guy. There's a lot of people that are big guys. Um, that's understandable. Uh, you know what is it? Thirty or forty percent of uh, this whole United States is uh, obese. Uh, it's just, I mean, you have some stupid fucking people that like to just get on 
whine and harass you for no reason just because they have keyboard and you call them keyboard keyboard warriors I can't talk so there's gonna be hate coming there um, but he gets it all this all the fucking time and he really shouldn't he really shouldn't get all the hate he does you know I was watching the chat going through and you just see all these things like you're fat go kill yourself die uh, you bait your dog you know uh, it's it's not funny. It's not funny. It's like the Hobbit movie, um, Bulfor, Belfor, or whatever. The fat Hobbit. They they played <laughs> so many jokes on it because he was the fat fat Hobbit, you know, breaking the chairs and all this stuff. You know, we only he we know Boogie's a big guy. I'm a big guy. You know, and there's I mean, <laughs> we're not perfect. We're not healthy. Um. And I, he's trying to fix himself. I'm trying to fix myself. And whenever somebody calls me fat, I don't care. You can call me fat, you know, that's fine. I don't care. Um, you know, people used to do that to me whenever I was on stream. Oh, there's another fat neck beer playing uh, video games. Yeah, that's basically what I got all the time. But, Boogie, if you're watching this, man, um, I wouldn't let these things get to you. You're an awesome guy. You've got things going for you that I will never get to see. I hope to. I'd love to one day, one of these days be able to um, be a gaming personality and share my opinions. I'd love to do that. I'd love to be able to, you know, <laughs> have some kind of um, <laughs> difference um, in the gaming industry. Because, you know, it, everything is going, like, in the gaming industry, everything is going to shit, uh, microtransactions, uh, season passes, uh, Gamergate, you name it, it's, it's just crazy, and, <laughs> you know, Boogie, he's one of the guys that, you know, get in, he's telling the truth, now, I don't know Boogie personally, I don't, I really don't know him, um, but as much as I do know him, we kind of share the similar kind of life that's happened. His is a whole a whole lot more tragic than mine, but he's a good guy. Oh, insanely good guy. Um, and if you're watching us, that's cool. If not, that's cool too. <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, if he, I would just not worry about these people, man. It's it's not worth it. Uh, not worth it at all. And the more you um, look into it the worse it's going to get. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know. But that kind of brings me next to... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's Nikki. She was telling me she loved me. <laughs> but, um, anyways, that brings me on the next guy, Jim, Ster Jim Sterling. I am going to go ahead and admit it. I was late to Jim Sterling's channel, Sterling's channel probably by at least a couple years or so. Um, I know little about him aside from, uh, I believe he used to work for um, The Escapist, maybe? I don't know. But I like Jim Sterling. I like him a lot. He's weird, quirky, um, he's got a mouth, and he, he gets shit done. Uh, he does really good with it, like um, with the digital homicide thing, um, which them trying to sue Jim Sterling for slander is kind of retarded, but um, people kind of need to need to know. It's like, as me, as a, as a uh, consumer, um, I don't want to buy a game that turns out to be a big turd because you know sixty dollars is sixty dollars, which that's a lot of money, especially right now. You know, like here's my wallet right now, nothing. There's no monies in there, zero money. <laughs> Um, and the only reason why I got this, got, uh, the Division is because, you know, my friend bought it for me. The reason I got Far Cry is because I traded games to get that. Um, and that's, that's fine. That's perfectly, I don't like going to GameStop. I don't like, I'm not a huge fan of, you know, pre owed games, but I'm not a big fan of, you know, the companies trying to rip you off. And that, that's something Jim Sterling he's really against and um, he makes a point every time he has a video he's got a good point um, 
that's if you believe him or not. But he does make a really good point. He has his statement. Um, it's comical. It's witty. And he's pretty awesome. And I hope the uh, whole digital homicide thing just it doesn't blow up because I, it's kind of retarded. But um, those two have really, really pushed me to making YouTube videos. I, I love I love doing it. I love editing. I love to uh, get a chance to share my opinion. Even if one person watches this video today, I, I, I think my view average is about 25 views per video. You know, I'm not even on, on top of the upper echelon of YouTubers. I'm on, like, the very, very bottom, like, just, I'm like a rat trying to gr get any type of crumb I can get. Um, that's what I want to bring to this channel. I want to make sure, you know, you're well informed. Um, and I don't want you guys to have to buy into some kind of bullshit. Um, and you shouldn't. And those two YouTubers are successful in telling you, um, you know, what's good and what's bad. Um, and, you know, like I said, I've never met Boogie. I've never met Jim Sterling. I'd love to. I doubt it'll ever happen. Who knows? Maybe maybe they could do, like, a maybe interview with those guys. I would be up for it. I, that'd be like, I don't know. That would be insane for me. Um, that'd be, like, one of the best days ever. But, um... I don't know. I, I think um, there are some great YouTubers out there, but like some spread the truth. Those two guys, um, most definitely. And I think we need more people like that. Because, I mean, I'm sorry. I, like, during game journalism as it is, like, it doesn't, it doesn't even matter anymore. All that matters now is what you and I look at. I'm just getting tired of being fed from IGN or some other post um, a game that's you know not very good. You know it gets all kinds of coverage, you know, because they're getting paid to do this for ads and stuff, and that's why I watch people like Boogie, Total Biscuit, uh, uh, Jim Sterling, and those guys. But um, again, like I said, if you guys are watching this, if Jim. Or uh, Boogie are watching us. Uh, be sure uh, to like and subscribe. Uh, I love you guys. And again, check out some. I got some content I put in earlier. Uh, Far Cry Primal and a Let's Talk. I promise you're gonna see the. You're gonna see the image, and you're gonna automatically think it's gonna be preachy. It's not really preachy at all. It's just a story. So uh, be sure to like and subscribe on that. And as always, I love you guys and. Stay awesome.